Okay, so here it is. This is my update to the caffeine video, Never Again, How Quitting Caffeine Changed My Life. And I have some bad news and some good news. So the good news is that I was able to stay off of caffeine for at least uh, the next year after that. I think I made the video back in May and really had minimal issues overall with, with caffeine. And, you know, I think I had maybe a, a week there where I had a couple of drinks and then I got back on track. And then recently, I'd say in the two months ago, I started drinking caffeine again and I really fell off the bandwagon. And the reason I wanted to make this video was because I didn't want it to seem like it's this magical thing where you just quit it once and it's all good forever and everything's easy because it definitely isn't. So I want to share a little bit about my experience about what came up for me and hopefully that'll help some of you guys. And the main thing that happened with me was I started doing consulting. Okay. I started doing consulting work where you know, I have a team of about right now, about 12 guys and you know, it's, we do you know, uh, almost we've done a million a month in sales right now, you know, as we're getting back to live events, we're doing about half of that, I'd say. And before, as we are ramping back up, uh, post COVID and right now that's fine. That's going well, but I started doing consulting to help people starting their business to get, you know, to be better at sales, to get better, um, with just communicating and, and through authenticity and, in, in, and making sure that they're honest and a real human being rather than some fake person. And so as I started doing those calls, I started taking on clients. I ha I felt within myself because it was something new I was doing that I wasn't fully at. I didn't feel like adequate to, to actually take this on yet, right? Because it's something new. And I think all of us experience this with anything new that we take on. We're always kind of the fool before we're the master. So even though I knew that I had value to provide, because I had a lot of references of being able to provide that, it was still new territory. And the reason this relates to caffeine is because it, I really looked to something external to fill that gap. And so I was like, okay, this is going to be an hour. I really got to perform. I really got to be on this. And the only way that uh, I'm able to be able to jump up and get really excited on these calls is if I maybe I drink a little caffeine before I do it. So the first couple calls, I started you know drinking some caffeine just to get uh, some external energy, some extra energy. And I got back on the bandwagon and it was, you know, it was uh, a few weeks really of drinking caffeine again until I started to notice the same issues where I it started out with one in the morning and then later it was another one in the evening, you know, in the, in the afternoon. And then that bled into my sleep and then it started messing up my sleep. And I finally said, you know what? Enough's enough. I can tell that it's affecting me. I have the awareness. I made the video. I know what it what it does. And so I told my friends, I said, Hey, I'll give you a thousand bucks. I'm not going to drink caffeine in the next two weeks. Quit it for two weeks. Easy. Didn't, didn't uh, need it again and got back on track. And that was a huge win for me. And what I, what's been happening recently is, uh, and I'll be full transparent here. I've been drinking it. I'd say a few times a week in the very, like early in the morning. And that's actually been somewhat manageable where I haven't been doing it in the evenings. I've been doing like a little bit of caffeine and I'm doing very, very, very little amounts and I'm supplementing with v, B vitamins and other things. So I still get that energy, but without a ton of caffeine, just like a little bit, so it's probably equivalent to like a green tea. And so that's been a, that's been a good solution to not only get a little bit of extra energy and oomph in the morning that I just don't naturally have uh, when I'm underslept. So let's say I, uh, mess up and I eat too late in the evening like I did last night. Um, so it's a good counter to that without going overboard. And that's kind of been uh, a bit of a balance that's been working because over the long term, there's going to be these things that come up. There's going to be these things that throw you off. And it's really just about how do you get back on track and get back into it. And that's been what's working for me and just recognizing that if it does go overboard, then you have to course correct and you have to fix. And um, what I've been doing recently is I've been really slowly um, just getting back into less and less and less and getting more supplements, more B vitamins, more um, just more like healthy ingredients to get that energy naturally. And then also I've been doing cold showers for 
man, I don't even know how long, but it's been at least six months. I've been doing cold showers every morning for six months. I'll probably make a video about that. But basically, it's been amazing. And that gives me, a t it wakes me the fuck up in the morning. I feel great. And um, that's been just consistent. And so that mixed in with like running in the morning uh, or working out in the morning is pretty much, and, and then like a little bit of supplements to give me a little bit of extra energy. That's pretty much been the best start to my mornings that I've found. And I hope that helps. And I want people to know that, you know, if you did fall off, don't beat yourself up. There's all what you can always course correct and always do better. It's not the end of the world, right? It's just a little bit of caffeine, but take it seriously and, and recognize um, when you're rationalizing it and when you're uh, using it as a crutch like I did and be able to have some friends that'll help hold, hold you accountable to getting back on track. And that's really the best remedy for me because um, at the end of the day, it's not enjoyable. It's, it's pretty miserable to be consistently getting bad sleep, poor sleep. You know, it's this vicious cycle. And so that's, that's been the solution for me. I hope that helps. I hope that doesn't let you guys down. <laughs> like, man, the guy who I thought was, uh, was doing this perfectly is, uh, had troubles too, but look, uh, we all have troubles with it. And, um, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been, uh, commenting on that video a year ago, because I've been really inspired to see what some people have been doing. It's been really exciting. Hopefully my recent videos where I'm trying to be funny, aren't completely, uh, turning you guys off, but I just want to give like a really genuine candid update to uh, to that aspect uh, of this channel and kind of tell you guys moving forward, like I'm really, the real purpose is I'm just looking to have fun and make daily videos with, where I actually enjoy watching them and I, I enjoy sharing them with my friends because I found that I was kind of getting in this rut where I was trying to make videos for the fucking algorithm or trying to make them for um, you know, study this topic and then do, and then, and then, you know, execute on a, on a video and all this stuff. And that's fine. And I'll probably do that again in the future. Uh, but I really think that my strength is just in kind of just being really raw as raw as possible. Uh, maybe it's not in jokes. I don't know. <laughs> so if you don't like that, uh, fair warning, there's going to be more of that coming up, but, uh, love you guys. Hope everything's going well and, uh, everything's good over here. Having a great time. Uh, almost coming up on my four year anniversary with my girlfriend. So that's been going really good. We survived COVID somehow we survived it. Uh, a lot of people didn't, but, uh, yeah, things are going great and, uh, I appreciate the support and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So stay tuned. Talk soon.